All right, let's just dive right into one of the wildest ideas in the entire history of physics. We're going to talk about a universe that is perfectly 100% allowed by Einstein's own equations, a universe where time itself completely breaks down. This is the story of Kurt Gödel and his incredible attack on the very idea of before and after. You know, it's funny, Einstein himself kind of felt this way. He had this deep sense that our feeling of time flowing forward was, well, just a feeling, an illusion. In his view, the past, present, and future were all equally real, all coexisting in this giant four-dimensional block of space-time. So, picture this. For Einstein's 70th birthday, his best friend doesn't just buy him a cake. Nope. He gives him mathematical proof. He gifts him an entire logically consistent universe built using Einstein's own theory that was designed to completely shatter everything we think we know about time. And our story really kicks off at Princeton with two of the absolute titans of 20th century thought. On one hand, you've got Albert Einstein, the guy who literally redefined space and time. And on the other, his close friend and walking companion, Kurt Gödel, the logician who had already turned the world of mathematics upside down by proving it was inherently incomplete. These two used to take these long walks, just debating the very nature of reality. And you have to understand this. Gödel's universe wasn't some crackpot idea or a mistake in the math. It was a perfect, pristine, exact solution to the equations of general relativity. He basically took Einstein's rule book and used it to create a world that was totally logical, but physically it was just absolutely bizarre. So what did this place look like? Well, for starters, forget the Big Bang. This universe has always existed and always will. It's eternal. And while it's basically the same everywhere you go, it's not the same in every direction. Why? Because the entire cosmos is spinning, the whole thing, like a colossal cosmic record player. And get this, no singularities, no Big Bang crunch, no black holes. It's weirdly stable. Okay, so the universe is spinning. Big deal, right? Well, yeah, it's a huge deal. Because that spin is what breaks everything. It all comes down to how that rotation literally twists the fabric of space-time. Think of it this way. The universe is filled with matter, just a swirling fluid of stuff. As it all spins together, it literally drags space-time along for the ride. It's an effect called frame dragging, and it's like stirring a spoon through thick honey. This twisting motion starts to tilt what physicists call light cones, which is just the boundary between your past and your future. The further you travel, the more those cones tilt until, well, until they tip right over. And when they tip over, something incredible happens. A path opens up, a path that lets you travel in a giant circle and arrive back where you started, but at an earlier time. This is a closed, time-like curve, a genuine path into your own past. And here's the truly insane part. In Gödel's universe, these time travel loops aren't hidden away in some weird corner. They pass through every single point in space-time. Time travel isn't just possible, it's everywhere. But here's the twist. You have to remember, Gödel wasn't trying to build a DeLorean. He was a logician. He wasn't interested in time travel, he was interested in time itself. The whole universe was just a brilliant philosophical trap set using the language of physics. So we really have to ask ourselves, was he seriously proposing that this is the universe we live in? Or was he trying to prove a much deeper, much more disturbing point about the very nature of reality? This was Gödel's signature move. It's what made him a legend. Remember, in logic, he used the rules of mathematics to prove that mathematics itself could never be complete. He used this system to show the system's flaws. And that's exactly what he did here. He took Einstein's beautiful rules of general relativity and followed them perfectly to create a universe where the concept of a flowing universal time just completely evaporates. And this is his checkmate move. His point was devastatingly simple. If the fundamental laws of physics can even allow for one single possible universe where you can travel to the past, then it means the orderly, one-way street of time that we experience isn't fundamental. It's just a feature of our particular neighborhood. It's a cosmic accident, not a cosmic law. So all of this deep philosophical stuff hangs on a single testable question. The key feature was that global rotation. So, is our universe actually spinning? This is something modern science can actually answer. If our universe was spinning like Gödel's, it would have a preferred direction, an axis of rotation. And that cosmic spin would have left a massive, unmistakable fingerprint on the oldest light we can see, the afterglow of the Big Bang, 
what we call the cosmic microwave background. And the verdict from astronomers is in. They have looked everywhere. They've analyzed the temperature of that ancient light, the way it's polarized. They've mapped the locations of millions of galaxies. And in every single test, the answer is the same. Our universe looks the same in all directions. It's remarkably non-spinny. So the evidence is pretty clear cut. While Gödel's universe is a beautiful mathematical idea, it is definitely not our reality. We just don't live in that kind of cosmos. The idea has been tested and it's been ruled out. But hold on. Even if we don't live there, Gödel let the genie out of the bottle. By showing that time travel was possible, at least in principle, he forced physicists to seriously confront all the bizarre paradoxes that come with it. And you know the most famous one, of course, the grandfather paradox. You hop in your time machine, go back in time, and accidentally prevent your own grandparents from meeting. Poof, you never born. But if you were never born, who went back in time to stop them from meeting? It's a perfect brain-breaking logical contradiction. So how do you fix that? Well, a couple of big ideas have been thrown around. One is the self-consistency principle which basically says you can't change the past. Anything you do back then was always part of history. The universe won't let you create a paradox. The other idea from Stephen Hawking is called chronology protection. It suggests that the laws of physics themselves will actively conspire to prevent us from building a working time machine in the first place. Nature, he said, abhors a time machine. And this really gets us to the core of why Gödel's idea is still so important. His universe was never meant to be a map. It was a giant warning sign. It was a thought experiment designed to show that our basic, common-sense intuitions about something as fundamental as time could be completely and totally wrong. So I'll leave you with this final thought. Gödel proved that the laws of physics are perfectly happy to describe a universe where causality completely collapses, which forces us to ask a really profound question about our own existence. Is the orderly, one thing after another flow of time in our universe a fundamental necessity of reality, or are we all just living through a very, very lucky accident?